audience, thank you for surfing Safari and stopping by. Alright, so we're doing a bit of a stray away from the uh, washing machine world. Um, today we are, well when I say today I mean 23.10 at night. Um, tonight we are looking at a Morphe Richards, um, a 1960 model, I don't know if it is exactly 1960 but it is a 60s one, early 1960s. Model HDA2 noiseless hair dryer um, in a very nice ivory colour. Um, this was a British Art Foundation in the unwanted electrical boxes. Of course, I can understand why they want to get rid of it. They don't want to sell an old hair dryer. Saw it, and I've been seeing on eBay and automaticwasher.org in the Shoppers Square uh, forums that this is a nineteen um, it's a nineteen sixties model. I think I've seen one from the 70s, I don't know if it was the same style. So it's a Morphe Richards. Um, it's a noiseless one, so it's very quiet. It's got like a, uh, an impeller kind of fan. I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, there. And there's the heating element. And you only have the option for, you don't have a speed option, you just have off, on. And then you have the heater either on or off. The motor sits at the side, I quite like that. Here's some information for you there. Yeah. Uh, it's made in England. Uh, the only th alarming thing with this hairdryer that I just found out today, oh no, I don't know what this is though. Um, this little thing here, it pushes the heating element. If you can see that. I don't exactly know what that's about. Someone could tell me what that button is. It moves the heating element. Or maybe it's if the element isn't. Maybe it's if you want to put burst of heat. Um, as I say, the only alarming thing I found out with this hairdryer, which is kind of a bit scared me of having it, is uh, it's made from Bakelite. Uh, obviously, those people, there's people who don't know what the dangers of Bakelite is. It can contain asbestos. As my family has been affected very deeply by asbestos, I do not wish to explain what that is, but if you do know me personally, you will know exactly why I am concerned about that. But let's just say I lost someone very important to asbestos cancer. Mesothelioma. Anyway, I'm not talking about that, because I was like, start getting quite emotional on camera. Um, but yeah, this has got some flathead screws. It's got rivets, that side. Um, and I guess we'll give it a test. We're also going to be looking at another appliance of mine, because this is going to be a very short video. So, let's crack on. way for me to actually demonstrate it. Yes, I'm wearing a Beetle shirt. Very fitting, actually, because I've got a 1960s hairdryer. The only way to make it quite fitting is for me to actually try it. So, listen to this. It's, it's quite quiet, actually. You'll see the fan spinning, hopefully. Flip the switch. Sounds very much like a... Sounds like a refrigerator motor, actually. Like a, a compressor. Or my Bendix spin dryer. Right, so let's do it. It's not very powerful, I will tell you that. But it's old. You gotta understand that it's vintage. You don't use the word old on here on this channel, we use vintage. You see my hair, it's just it's just about enough to lift that. Now instantly as soon as I flick this, the heater comes right on. Like instantly there. <coughs> it smells of burning. Let's do that again. Let's see if I can just get um be aware this is gonna be quite loud. So turn your turn your volume down now if you're gonna hear you're gonna hear some loud wind noise. Oh, I thought it was loud. There's one behind the camera. Watch, look. Ready? I'll, I'll actually tell you when I feel heat. Heat! That is how quickly it heats up. Uh, I've not had the element going red yet. But it's obviously melting my camera. And it's literally as soon as you release the heat button again, it goes cold. Cold. It doesn't burn. Um, I'm not going to see the motor in there. Yeah, literally as soon as I flick that, boom. It's like heat, heat. Let me, let me press this button actually at the bottom and see what happens there. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what that's meant to do. It makes contact with the element. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's switch that off now. There we go. 
All right, so I did sell some demonstrate another appliance. This is one I bought well back in March, I think it was on or April. April is it? It's a uh, five star, hence the five star uh, nine inch desk fan model PL two hundred two D nine. I think it is. Let's see what it says. A PL two hundred two D nine. Yeah, nine inch desk fan. Oh, well, we can ask guys when they say nine inch, do they mean the diameter of the blades? Because I just want to know it's for, like extractor fans and whatnot. Anyway, um, this was another one that was it was sold for ten pound and then it got scrapped for some reason. Very much like what happened to that Maloney service. Might have been a customer refund, I don't know. Um, it's very dusty. Uh, it's got a you unscrew this and that ring comes out. I'm not sure if it's meant to be this colour off this is due to age, but it's a very nice looking one. It's very noisy, it does vibrate a bit, but it's quite nice to have. I don't know what year it's from, maybe 1990s. So, well, we'll test it. It's got one and two set, uh, speed settings. One, slow. And it is an oscillating model as well. That's oh, lovely and cool. That's quiet. As soon as you, but it vibrates through the, this. And two, fast speed. I think what happened was, was when this was first bought and they put it in the cage, I think someone threw it. I might explain why that's been chipped. I think it's not the blade off centre. I have tried tightening it, but it just doesn't work. Oh, that's a sticker. I am. Put it on high speed. Let's fire what's going off because it's Diwali. We're going to be lighting an incense stick tonight. That's one of my first one in the winter this year. One thing this does, which we put it on low speed, it oscillates slow, not slower. But when you put it on high speed, it oscillates faster. Watch. The faster it goes, the faster it oscillates, and it slows itself down at times. Oh, you guys, I've rearranged my room, which you might have seen. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's the light that I got, by the way. I got it. That's the fan. Yeah, let me just. Keep it spinning so I can. See, I got it working. It was the. It was the. But I get shocks off at times. Watch so off. Oh, remember in the shop it was going straight to that setting. It was. There we are. So yeah, guys, that's that's that is all that was left of my client's collection. So I'm just going to quickly see if we can get some look at the fireworks. Sorry if you don't. Ah, oh, so when I come to the window, you stop. <laughs> Always happens. Right, so I might as well do this video on camera. I should do a separate video. Might as well do a separate video. Mum ain't going to be happy, I'll tell you that. She hates. Um, God, I've got to be very careful. I'm just going to put the camera down, guys, because I don't want to set fire. Oh, I hate lighting matches. Come on, it never wants to light on camera. Have a laugh if you want to. There we go. Uh, although they say bloody safety matches, they're not. You've got to light it, let it catch fire. I like that. Oh, the incense stick's gone out. <laughs> I think it was it's still burning. It's hard doing it with a Bloody camera. Mum ain't gonna like it though because she hates them. Okay, I'll I won't film this one. Anyway, guys, um, I just want to say thank you. Oh, these are new matches. Um, I just want to say, uh, let me must well film in my mirror. Anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you very much for watching as always. Um, uh, I don't know my next excuse the mess of my hair. It's what the hair dryer's gone bloody. So, uh, I don't know what the next video will be because the I'm not going to be using the hot point um, this week. I'm, no, I said Tuesday I was going to, but I'm going to give that machine a rest. I'm going to save up my washing because I did not mention this in the wash race. But we have a visitor coming this coming Sunday, the 6th. Um, I'm not going to reveal too much about who he is. But let's just say this guy is very washer crazy with himself. I think now just by saying that you know all know who it's going to be. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing some videos of the, 95, the Hotpoint 9530 and the Miele W562. 
We're also going to be doing some of the irons, the spin dryers, the creeder dryer, um, and some of my vacuums as well. We've got a lot to look forward to. Uh, another visitor. First time I, it'd be the first time I had a visitor come to my house of a washer. Because I've gone to um, Electronic Deluxe, which was the last one I went to. So yeah, thank you very much. That's mum singing in the background, by the way. Um, so yeah, thank, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, keep it supreme and go with the flow. Oh, hang on, before I say that, let me just cut that ending. That doesn't exist. I might come up with a new entry line rather than saying greetings, thank you for serving Safari and stopping by. I thought of this one. So let me know, guys, if what you think of it, please. I want to hear your feedback on this one. Uh, I thought of, um, so I will keep thinking greetings and I'll say, uh, greetings, um, I like, I thought it was like, it's like, it's like greetings, to, um, or, or like greetings, hey there, or like, hey there, my, uh, my Supremes and Washer Wonder Hearts. I don't, I don't know, I thought of this on the spot because I thought Washer Wonders. Like I thought of the Wonder Wash um, washing machine, um, but I don't know. Um, my mum singing in the background. If you can hear her, <laughs> she just she never knows what I catch on camera from her. Uh, I just thought of that, uh, or like uh, I've wanted to have the Supremes in there and Washer Wonder Heart, Washer or Washer Wonders, and then Wonder Heart came to me because that's to do with the Care Bears. There's a uh, Care Bear called Wonder Heart there, and I just, that just came to my mind. But anyway, it's it's up to you uh, guys. You know if you think that if you know it can change it anyway. But I've also got the Supremes in there. So yeah, thank thank you very much again for watching, and uh, I shall see you all soon. Um, and also you probably know who's coming round now to my house. Um, yeah, so keep it supreme. Go with the flow.